What is up boys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are playing some more EA Sports UFC 4 Universe Mode. We're diving in today with Franklin Washington v Ruby Lewis to start things off. Ruby Lewis is uh, Suvin DeKal's new fighter and he is making his debut today. He has max power and no stamina. This is going to be super interesting, super fun and we're going to see how it fares. Here we go. So Franklin Washington has got 50% power. He's got all the stamina in the world but Ruby Lewis... Hits like a damn truck. Just needs to land. And we're going to see tonight. Will Franklin Washington be too much for this new up-and-comer? Let's see. Ruby Lewis dawning the tattoos 12 and 6 on his back. Don't know why. Bit of a mystery. Um, yeah, let's rock and roll, though. Let's see how this one goes. Franklin Washington looking good in the overhand. Lands clean. Ruby Lewis looking to close the show early. The power is real. Franklin Washington eats it pretty nicely, though, and he's back. Seems to be recovered. One shot's all it takes from Ruby Lewis. Big body shot. Good shot there, and he cannot throw combinations like that because Franklin Washington will pick him off. With movement there from Franklin. This is what Franklin needs to do. Keep his distance. Keep his range. He gets clipped again. Washington on the back foot. Ruby Lewis with a knockout start to his career. What a finish. Ruby Lewis gets it done. The power. Up next, we have a featherweight barn burner with Rocky Johnson and Isaac Saker. This is going to be a very, very interesting boxing match. I know this one is going to be an absolute war. Let's see how it goes, boys. Let's get it. Rocky Johnson taking on Isaac Saker. Saker is a very good established veteran. He actually just lost against Michael Claymore. And we're going to see how he fares against Rocky. Here we go. Good head kick there for Saker. Rocky eats it. Over how... Ooh, okay, okay. That was nasty. That was nasty. Saker there with a nice combination. Rocky on the back foot. Nice jab from Rocky. Good leg kick there too. Slipping punches. Nice straight there from Saker. And an uppercut from Saker. Rocky was wobbled early in this fight. Can he recover? Let's find out. Good boxing. Slips that shot as well. Nice. Saker coming back. Good slip there from Rocky. Saker, nice timing, good countering. Veteran moves here from Isaac Saker. High kick from Rocky though, and Saker's rocked. Good fight so far, boys. This has been fun. Rocky now on the front foot. Saker in trouble. Saker replies. What a fight. Rocky on the front foot now with the spinning back. It's knocks him down. Saker in trouble. Saker comes back. This is a good fight, man. Straight drops him. That was a really good shot there. And Rocky looking to maybe get some ground and pound here. Saker gets back to his feet. Okay. Look at a shot. Uppercut from Saker. Rocky now having some moments in this fight. This is a really fun fight. Spinning shot there from Saker. Rocky answers back with a straight. What a fight. Straight from Saker. Left hook from Isaac Saker. What is happening? This fight's a war. Isaac Saker trying to go for the kill. Rocky managing to survive there. Good work by Rocky Johnson. We're going to see if he can get up. Saker here on the ground, having some success. Not much though, they need to get this fight back standing. This fight's been an absolute barn burner. Saker trying to get the crucifix position, I believe. Rocky manages to get back under him in half guard. Back to the feet is Rocky Johnson, let's go. Oh, Saker clips him, pushes him down. Isaac Saker looking for the finish. Can he get it? He needs to get out of this clinch position. Because this is bad for Rocky here. Elbow in the clinch. They are banging shots galore. This is a crazy fight. One, two there from Saker. I want to see this fight again. I don't know what happens here, but I want to see it again. Saker drops him. Rocky backs up. <laughs> Rocky drops Saker. This has probably been the best round in UFC Universe history. Oh my god. Little jab there. Shot to the body from Saker. Rocky coming back. I want to see a rematch already. We need to see a rematch because this has been fucking crazy. 
What a first round. What a first round. Oh my. Bravo, boys. Bravo. That was an incredible round. Let's keep going. Rocky Johnson ready for round two. Shaker ready as well. Let's keep this ball rolling. Tough a cut. Just missing there, but the straight landed for Rocky. Shaker going to the body. Coming back upstairs. Uppercut drops Rocky. Shaker in, tr uh, Shaker in trouble. Rocky in trouble. Shaker trying to close the show. Rocky managing to survive. I, I need to see the rematch. This is incredible. What a fight. Okay. Shaker here looking good. Gets back to his feet. Rocky's had some good moments as well. This is an absolute war. This is why we love UFC Universe. Right here. Fights like this. I know I said look, Rocky's last fight wasn't that great. But this fight, man. He is coming out and putting on a show. So is Saker. Good body shot. And they are just really ripping each other here. I want to see this fight go to a decision. But I know it's not going to. Someone's going out. Slip there from Rocky. And a nice counter right hand from Rocky Johnson. Saker's in trouble now. War. Absolute war. Oh, and now Saker replies. This is the best fight in UFC Universe history, I think. People will disagree. But yeah. <laughs> Leg kick there for Rocky. And he's down again. Saker with a nice uppercut. He's been landing a lot more on Rocky. Rocky is not out of this fight. Yet another knockdown from Rocky Johnson. What a fight. Oh, and he goes out. Isaac Saker closes the show. What a finish. What a damn fight. I think the rematch is already booked before he's left the octagon. Wow. How many knockdowns were in that fucking fight? Oh my goodness. What a finish for Isaac Saker. What a fight. Rocky Johnson almost had him out of there multiple times. Boom. Beautiful fight. It's one of the best we've seen. Can I see the statistics? Yes, we can. How many knockdowns were in that fight? Seven knockdowns for Saker. Four for Rocky. Three stuns. Two wobbles, man. That was an incredible fight. Wow, what a fight. Let's move on, man. I don't know if anything's going to top that. That was incredible. Up next, we've got Michael Claymore taking on the King of Rio, Jose Aldo. We're going to see how this one goes. It's going to be an interesting one. Aldo has some very good kickboxing. Michael Claymore is an absolute beast. We've seen him just tear through the featherweight roster so far. And uh, you think if he wins this fight, he might be on a fast track to Marty Bones if he wants it. Maybe he wants a few more build-up fights. But if he wants the title fight, he's got it if he beats Aldo, I think. He's beat everyone else in the featherweight division. And he's just burst onto the scene, you know. He's just came on the scene and really, really lit this up. Nice body shot there for Claymore. High kick there for Aldo, though. Uppercut drops and there's a beautiful uppercut. Claymore now on the front foot a little bit more. Good body work there. Aldo returning fire, though. Double jab. Slip from Claymore. Body shot rocks in. That was beautiful. Head kick not out. What a finish. Michael Claymore. Demolishes Jose Aldo. Wow. The battle of the grapplers. Lopez taking on Ramirez Nazir. Both of these guys could strangle you. As soon as look at you, we're going to see how this one goes, man. Let's go. Let's dive in. I think I've moved down to welterweight, my fighter. So I'll happily fight the winner of this one. I'm down for that. I want to keep my ball rolling with my fighter. And uh, yeah, I'll fight the winner if uh, anyone wants it. Let me know. <laughs> Here we go, Ramirez Nazir, Lopez. We're watching this fight closely because this could be a future opponent, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. No takedowns as of yet. I thought that would have been the first thing they do is shoot for a takedown, but I guess not. Let's see what happens. Good jab there, and a nice return fire there from Ramirez Nazir. Slipping there from Lopez. Lopez looks lighter on his feet. Some decent movement as well. Not a lot going on here, boys. Finally, they throw. <laughs> I think this fight would have hit the mat already, but I think it will. It's just a matter of time, you know? Very alike, these guys. Very good submissions. Very, very dangerous on the ground. And an Imanari roll from Lopez. Could it be locked in? I think Ramirez gets out of this. A good start to the rounds, man. We've got some good old submission styles coming at it. 
Ramirez is definitely out of this. He's also landing defender strikes as well. But it's a good start for Lopez, you know, just, just letting him know. I can submit you, boy. Ramirez, though, in a very good position here. Oh, no. Let's see what happens. Ramirez there trying to get an arm, but Lopez rolls. Okay. Grab a pound here from Ramirez Nazir. Recently got a knockout in his last fight. I believe. Might have been his last one. I should start reading the records for these boys. I do apologise. I'll start doing that. Um, okay, I'll read their records now, I guess. Lopez here. Turning things over. Nice. Interesting turn of events here. So Lopez is uh, 10 and 4. Ramirez Nazir is uh, 16 and 6. So both very high level fighters here. We've got Lopez on top now. Landed some ground and pounds. He's flattened him out here. Could be looking for another submission. We'll see Lopez in mount now. Oh boy. I'll happily fight the winner. I'm fighting Rozovic on this card, so I'll happily fight the winner. We've got Lopez now locking in the submission. And we'll see. Can he lock it in? It looks like Lopez could have this, but Ramirez is a very good submission specialist. Can you submit the submission guy? Let's find out. Leg over the head. For Royce Lopez. And that is it. Royce Lopez gets the submission. Big win for Royce Lopez there. Wow. I didn't think that was going to happen. I thought Ramirez might get that one, but it is what it is. I'll happily fight him if I beat Brozovic, and uh, we'll go from there. Anyway, let's keep rolling, boys. Let's get it. Dalton taking on Rampage up next, boys. Let's see how this one goes. Rampage is a very, very tough fight for anybody. Dalton is very tricky. Very good striking, very good ground game. It's going to be an interesting one. I don't know who actually gets this one done. It's going to be interesting. I'll happily fight the winner of these two as well. It's, it's down to whoever. I, I let you guys book my fights because I don't want anything to do with that. <laughs> but here we go. Dalton taking on Rampage. Rampage has the record of 11-4. and 4. Dalton is 10-2. and 2. We're going to see how this one goes. Dalton recently fighting for an interim title fight. Oh, that was beautiful from Rampage. And down goes Dalton there. Beautiful overhand. And a lovely head kick there to finish that off. He's on the ground now with Dalton, though, who is no joke on the ground. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see what happens. Okay. Back up to the feet. Good work by Dalton there. Answering back there. Nice straight from Rampage. Good overhand from Dalton, though. Let's go. Nice combinations here from Chad. Rampage in trouble. This is going to be another one of those fights, isn't it? <laughs> oh, ho, ho, timing on that shot from Rampage Roderick. Now Rampage coming forward, missing the head kick. Nice jab in there. Combinations from Dalton. Rampage faints. Slips that shot left hook there from Rampage. Fun fight. Uppercut from Dalton. Beautiful shot. Decent shots there. Nice body shot. Rampage slipping. Goes for a takedown. Nice takedown there from Rampage Roderick. I never thought that would happen. Good takedown though, nonetheless. Rampage postures up. I think Dalton would be the better wrestler, but Rampage here looking decent. Okay, I never I never expected this. We've never seen Rampage use his wrestling. But wow. Good shots. Okay. Dalton with a nice reversal there though. Some good shots. Ooh. Nice leg kick for Dalton. Took there, this is a fun one. Okay, straight there, nice body shot. Slips that shot there from Rampage, good head movement. Rampage trying to come back a bit more aggressive there. He's left himself open for a counter from Dalton though. He's to watch that because Dalton is very tricky. That's a big shot, down goes Rampage. Fun fight, man. Fun fight. And down goes Rampage again, and he's hurt bad. Rampage on the back foot. Oh, left hook again. Okay. Slips that shot. Rampage front up a lot of feints here. 
Oh, hook from that. Well, right hook from Rampage, should I say. Okay, beautiful. What a first round again. We're, we're, we've been treated to some really good rounds in this episode, man. That Rocky Johnson fight was incredible. This fight is just as good, if not better. Here we go. No, I think Rocky's fight was better. Rocky v. Saker. Still, there's still time in this fight. This fight seems a lot more like sluggy, you know? They're just trying bombs. Getting after it, you know? Look at that. Dalton with some nice movement though. And he clips Rampage again. Oh, and down he goes. He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad. Dalton looking for the finish. Chad Dalton gets it. He's back in a big way. Big win for Chad Dalton there. Bravo, brother. Wow. Welterweight debut for your boy. Taking on Ulysses Rosovich. He has been calling my fighter's name for a long time. And finally, we're going to get in there and throw it down and see what happens. Rosovich is a very good boxer. You can't take nothing away from him. He is one of my favorite fighters in this division. And uh, I'm kind of happy we get to fight him now. Let's go. Ulysses Rosovich. Holy cow. Here we go, fellas. Let's go off the bat there. Superman punching galore. Let's see what happens there. Nice left hook there from Rosovich. Slips that. Decent defense from Cow. Start things off. Good jab there. Swifting stances too. Rosovich should push forward here. He's a natural featherweight. He's a little bit smaller. Not too much smaller. I thought the size would be a lot more, but I think we're a natural middleweight. Slip in there. Making him miss, making him pay. Good count on the right hand there. Let's see what happens. Fun fight. I'm excited for this because uh, Rosovich has wanted this fight for a long time. And since then, a lot has happened, but we're finally in there now. Good uppercut there from Rosovich. That was nice. Can't hit what you can't see, boy. <laughs> I'm not there. <laughs> Let's go. Left hook there. Straight coming back. Decent. Nice. Good slip. Very elusive. Superman punch again. Rosovich having a hard time finding a home there. Good counter straight. Rosovich in trouble. Good counter shot there though. Lands a good spinning back fist. Good spinning back fist. Good straight there on the spinning back fist. Superman punch. We are timing him here though. Rosovich starting to nail us though a little bit. He's starting to time us coming in. He's finding a home. Good clinch work here. Nice elbow from Rosovich. Jab there. From Cal. This guy. Very, very elusive. That's it. Overhand buffers him. Rosovich in trouble. Okay. Nice slip. Head kick lands though. Let's go, Rosovich. Nice. Good shot. Let's go. Rosovich now pushing forward. Good shot. Slipped onto that head kick there. Okay. Good straight. Two. Up to the body. Elbow there. Overhand lands. Is he buckled? I can't even, I can't even tell. I don't know. Oh, he's out. It doesn't matter about buckled. He is out. The welterweight debut goes off without a hitch. Overhand finish for Cal. Let's go. It could be Lopez. It could be Dalton. It's whoever you guys want to see my boy fight next. I'll throw him in there if anyone. Win or lose, it'll be fun. Good win, though. Good performance from Rosovich there. He did crack me clean with that head kick there, but there we go. Moving on, we got Colin Ashley taking on Mark Davis. The rivalry continues. Let's see how it goes, man. Let's go. The rivalry continues. Colin Ashley has two wins over Mark Davis. Mark Davis has a win over Colin Ashley. They are fighting again. It makes the most sense in the lightweight division. Let's see what happens, man. Colin Ashley looking to get one back on his rival. Davis looking to get one back on his rival. Colin Ashley is just looking to extend that lead. Let's see what happens, man. Colin Ashley. Mark Davis. Here we go, boys. Swoops that. Down with that. Colin Ashley straight on in there, picking him up. Davis is a big dude for lightweight, too. Good body kick there. Powerful body kick. 
Paul Mark Davis there. Ashley backing up. Switch kick to the body. Front kick there. Davis throwing up some problems. Double jab there. Very slick movement there from Colin. Very fast. Both guys. Uh, I believe Davis is on 10 losses. 20. Uh, I forgot to read the records, boys. I apologize. I apologize. Uh, that last one I was just subbing to because it was my guy. Um, but yeah, Davis is. Oh! Mark Davis is 21 and 10. Colin Ashley is 25 and 9. Spinning shot there. Lands to the dome of Colin Ashley. Wow. Ashley's not out though. We know he's a dog. Oh, we got pieced up there though. Needs to watch that. Man. Big shots there from Davis. Davis has come out super aggressive in this one. Oh, Davis with a head kick. No way. No way. Mark Davis flattens him out. Can the duck do it? No, he cannot. Let's see what happens here. But I believe when it comes to the ground game, Colin Ashley is miles better. And there we go. There we see it there. Let's see what happens. Davis turns him over though. Wow. Okay. Maybe the stamina? I don't know. Light years better, in my opinion, on the ground is Colin Ashley. Good body shot there. Really nice shot. Good straight there. Ducking roundhouse clips the duck. But an uppercut lands clean. And Ashley on the back foot. I think he's hurt still. What a fight, man. These two hate each other. Big shot there. Colin down again. Let's see what happens. Steps over. Davis trying to mount. Colin denies. What a fight. So far. Okay. Body shot. Davis now. Oh boy. Good shots. Davis now. How is he doing this? I think it might just be the stout. I don't know. I think he's like... Nah, he's okay. He's okay. I think Colin... Good shot there for Colin. Gets the timing a little bit better. Can't get too little. Can't get a little bit too hasty there. Throwing all them shots because Davis will counter. Good first round. You've got to give it to the uh, the chef, the duck, the whatever he is, the sandman, whatever nicknames Mark Davis has. Fighting Colin Ashley here in the second. Nice spinning shot there from Colin. We need to see more of that, I think, from Colin. More flashy, you know, shots because Davis is starting to walk him down. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see. Nice shot to the body there. And that's what's going to hinder Davis. You know, he's a first round fighter. And that will hinder him. Good body shot. Davis is coming out a little bit more aggressive now. Colin could wait, time him, and then land something clean here. Like that. It is a ball via Matador in there. Davis hits like a truck. Oh, and there it is again. Chopping at the woods. Oh, and Mark Davis with the upper, up, upper set. Upset. Mark Davis gets it done. Knocks out Colin Ashley in the second. I don't even know what that was that landed, but I think it was like a spinning heel kick. Mark Davis in Axie's revenge. Two and two now. Mark Davis and Colin Ashley. Boom. Wow. Up next, we have. Rafi Shafiq taking on Clint Lamb for the lightweight title. Let's go. The return of the immortal. He is defending his lightweight title against Clint Lamb. Rafi believes there is a curse on him where his second title defense he always loses. Is he going to break this curse tonight? Oh, Clint Lamb. Full short. We're going to find out. Clint Lamb ready for a touch of gold. Shafiq not ready to give it up. Let's find out what happens. Here we go, boys. Oh, nasty shot there. Front kick there from Clint. I think Lamb with some nice boxing there. Good body shot there from Clint as well. Shafiq, he has been around forever, man. Good shot there. I think Lamb buckled. Shafiq has been around for so long. Head kick drops him. This is his 49th fight, bro. He's an old legend. And he's still got the belt. There's no decline. He's the champion. 
Front kick drops him here. Shafiq is looking deadly, as always. I think now, I don't even know what that was, but he's down again. Double jab there for Clint. He's on the back foot already, though. Shafiq is just kind of waiting for an opening, and there it is. Rapey Shafiq, still the lightweight champion of the world. The immortal 37 and 12. The stuff of legends. Wow. The main event of the evening. Two of the best ever to do it. Marcus Dixon is taking on Ibeck Kazenbeck. This is an incredible fight. A very, very big one. We've got Kazenbeck, the pound for pound king, 26 and 0. He is the middleweight, he is the former featherweight, lightweight, and current welterweight and middleweight champion. He has had every single belt. He has not uh, lost a fight. I almost said he has not won a fight. Um, he's 26 and 0. He's taken on Marcus Dixon, the former middleweight champion. 25 and 6, Marcus Dixon. This one is going to be a barn burner. Here we go. Kazenbeck, Marcus Dixon. Dixon has better standing, in my opinion, and is a lot bigger than Kazenbeck. I do feel oh, that no way as he just rocked him with that counter shot. That was beautiful. No way. Kazenbeck shoots for the legs. And he slams Marcus Dixon. Wow. Okay. Did not expect that. Now we're going to see. Dixon is in Kazenbeck's well, but he's probably the most comfortable there because Dixon is kind of the same style of fighter. I think Dixon just likes to stand a little bit more and knock people out, but we'll see. Can Dixon get up? No. We'll see. He's got a lot of time left in this round to try and survive, but also, flip side to that, Kazenbeck's got a lot of time in this round to try and finish the show here. Can he do it? I don't know. I don't know. I... I I like Dixon's odds in this one. Dixon is probably... And he gets up there. That's the first time I've seen anyone get up from a transition at Kazembeck's, you know? But this man will not give up. He will not give up when it comes to the grappling. He needs to go back to the well there and try and get this takedown. And you know he's already trying to think of another one here. He's setting it up well. It's the first time I've seen anybody get up from a Kazembeck grappling situation here. I believe, anyway. He's had 26 fights, like, I, I don't know for sure, but I'd say so. Kazenbeck slipping shots here. He's got to be careful not to fall on the Dixon uppercut, because Dixon is a freaking maniac, and he <laughs> will land something. Spears in there, wow. Timing on that takedown was perfect for Kazenbeck. We're going to see if Dixon can manage to get back to his feet. Or will Dixon want to just reverse the transitions, maybe put Kazenbeck in a ground and pound situation here. Kazabek going for a Kimura. Turns it over, can he get it? He's turned it over to an armbar now, okay. He might have this. Dixon though is a beast and I wouldn't be surprised if he slips out of this. But Kazenbeck, it looks like. I bet Kazenbeck, the best ever, 27 and 0. Submits the organ grinder, one of the best middleweights to ever do it. Takes out Marcus Dixon. 27-0, the greatest of all time. Wow. Wow. Alrighty, boys, for today's episode, I am going to end it here. That I believe that is Kazenbeck as well. Before I do, that is his 15th submission, shattering Brady Mayfield's submission record. And Kazenbeck is just something else. Anyway, I'm going to end it here, boys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, hit the like button, comment and subscribe, and I will see you for more EA Sports UFC 4 Universe Mode next time. Have an amazing day, guys. See you all again in the next video.